So today at Walgreens or uh, Rite Aid, I should say, I was I was getting um a prescription filled, and I saw this fucking bitch steal some kind of box or something from across the counter. But like by the time I realized she was stealing, she was already halfway out the store. And uh, I just wanted to say I was fucked up, even though she was black. And the bitch could have been white, and I'd still be pissed off about it, you know? And, like, I feel bad because I couldn't have got to her in time because I thought she was going to stay in line and shit. And I didn't realize what the fuck she was doing until she was, like, halfway out of the store. And I ain't running because this is, like, a tall, skinny black woman. And you can't catch them, especially, like, she was on drugs anyway. So, it's just really messed up. Stop fucking stealing. There's too much shit going on right now with all this fucking black white stuff too and it kind of it kind of psychologically put me at a disadvantage because I figured that you know if I did something then that'd be part of a racial thing but apparently it wouldn't have so the next time somebody tries to steal I'm just gonna fucking throw them on the floor and uh that's gonna be that um I really haven't said much about this black lives matter shit because uh I think it's a sham since it's a reason to be racist I also know that, uh, you know, the statistics say what they say, and uh, I don't really have to tell nobody nothing, because we all know, but I believe that everybody matters, you know, and uh, not one is oppressed more than the other, I don't care what they say, because we all get the same opportunities. Don't have that really to say about Obama, I didn't vote for him. But that doesn't mean I have to talk trash, you know, because they do what they can. I just don't understand it. But, uh, you know, I just, you know, I pretty much save all my opinions for uh, the music and stuff, you know. Because, like, people always, you know, they're always really wondering about who people going to vote for, Hillary or Trump. Who cares? You know, I said, do you make the right decision? And the right things will happen. Because I'm not telling you who I'm voting for. Uh, I also went to the doctor. And my wife died me out for being bipolar. But that was good though. Because it needed to happen. Kind of opened up the door for me to talk about that kind of stuff. And uh, so yeah. I got to make some different changes in my life. That's going to stop me from doing some stuff that I really enjoy doing. You know. So time to put the alcohol down. And do something different hopefully I won't slip up but if I do I'm human you know but I'm not gonna like I can't be getting drunk no more I can't be doing stuff no more you know a lot of the pot stuff's gonna have to go which I'm kind of unhappy about because I love smoking and drinking but you know it won't do nothing but help my liver and lungs anyway so uh music will be coming soon I'm still working on that shit uh well um, I'm still working on it. It's just hard whenever you don't have a whole lot of money or means to do crap with, so. It's just gonna be there. Chief Davis and me are gonna try to do something in this valley and part of the West Coast that hasn't been done in a long time. It's gonna get there. Uh, my buddy Joel asked me to do a top 10 death metal album video, and um, I was gonna wait and just buy the albums, you know, but that's gonna take too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me a little list and hopefully in the next few days or so I'm going to put put it up here for you guys to see. And, uh, you know, back to me being the bipolar thing, I've had this since I was, you know, a long time ago. But it's never like, uh, I never said nothing about it, you know. I always tried to hide it and I always tried to act like I'm spying and stuff, you know, but it's hard. I didn't realize how hard it was so I started getting older, you know. You know, maybe, you know, it will st- it might come out something good, you know, because maybe that's why I've lost too many people in my life that I cared about, and I just seem to get mad for no reason half the time. I get irritable and shit. This is a process, you know. The past can't... The past is the past. I don't care what anybody's done. You can't never get anywhere staring behind you. You can only look forward, you know. You can only go forward and go all in. You can't be like, look forward and then just be like, oh, well, you know, start going like this and shit. It won't work. You know, I'm starting to realize that. 
because there's too many times where I just be like staring behind me, walking forward, and wonder why I knock everything down, you know. But it's just sad, you know. But they have a new uh, a new outlook on stuff, and you know, it's like a what they call it a uh, like an uplifting thing, you know. And um, can't can't do nothing without a support system. Mine's right there. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna go one day at a time and, and try to start doing these videos again. So you guys have a good day. See you later. <laughs>